Hello everyone, it is I Thing and welcome to another Let's Plant video. As you see, our Christmas tree is up and it's blinking away. Um, and also, those of you who are wondering why I wear a tank top, it's because we live in an apartment and we can't control the heat and the heat is like really hot sometimes. So yeah, anyway, so today we are going to be replanting my mom's Christmas, Easter and Thanksgiving um, cactus plant because it's all shriveled up. It doesn't seem like it's drinking water. So we're gonna be putting that into uh, my Coca Coir mix, which you can actually find in the link in the description down below. And then we are going to be removing all these um, and putting them into each individual pot. Um, it's been six months since I've had them propagating. So these uh, whale fins were the ones that arrived and they were just, rotting away so I just cut them up and uh, put them to uh, provocation hopefully to sell them in um, in the springtime anyways so let's get started okay so let's get started don't mind the wire it's just for my microphone okay so what I need to do is I need to take all of this apart which should be really easy but I guess not um, hmm my mom loves this because it gives her nice, beautiful flowers. And whenever she, whenever she goes to like one of her friends' place or one of the store that she knows the person, she always asks a little tiny clipping of like their their little plants and stuff, right? Just because, like, she likes the different flowers and stuff. She always likes this, so she's she's had this for like quite a long time or a lot, a variation of it. And you see how like there's so much dirt down here, which honestly is not needed. Like that's a lot of wasted dirt. Like it is potting soil too. So it's like extremely thick. Ooh. So I guess a lot of her rooting stuff is like rotting away. So we're just gonna put that aside and we're gonna trash it out later. Um, what we're gonna do is, oh my gosh, mother. We're just gonna remove all this. Anything that, you know, um, you see? Anything that is rotting or has like too much soil in it, we're just gonna remove as well. You see how this is a lot. Like the roots can't grow because it's, it's being choked. We choke so badly. And it's not, it's like, it, there's, like this one, there's roots inside, but it's not, it's not drinking any water. So there's something wrong. There's something absolutely wrong. So we just gotta remove all that, right? Just like we did with her other cactus, uh, cactus plants as well. We just gotta remove all this. So I might have to wash this once um, I remove all of this stuff from her from her roots. You see like there's the rooting system is very, very tiny, right? So you don't need that much potting soil. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, this, this is good right here. This right here is good. This is good. But the other stuff with like the potting so it's just, it just crushes and chokes the, uh, the roots. It's poor stuff, poor things. Mom's gonna like it once it's uh, gone back into, well, gone into the uh, cocoa choir mix. She's gonna love it. All her plants is gonna love it.
Okay, so that's done. Let's uh, trash this away. We're just gonna put it in here. And then I'm gonna go clean, as in like water. Uh, which pot am I gonna put that in? Um, I'm going to rinse all this of all the dirt off and then I will be right back in video magic. All right, so now that I've finished cleaning, I've washed all the dirt away and washed these away. Uh, sorry, wash them, not wash them away. Um, I actually also took the liberty of cleaning out her uh, planter right here. Um, but because we're using coca coir and because it's very loose and arid, arid um, it's not compact. We actually need to fill these holes right here. One, two, and three. Um, so we're gonna use some fiberglass that you can find on Amazon or, or your local hardware store. So that way it will reduce the uh, tiny particles that would slip through the holes. And two. All right, you just cut it like that. And then make sure it's covered. Two and then three three like I think I bought my my huge row for like $19 and I, it's lasted like for I think three years now so it's been it's been a, it's, it's a lot okay so now this is the cocoa choir mix that um, I've been using for all my succulents and all my plants even the Hoyas um, it's been really great like I said you can find the uh, video for it in the link in the description down below okay yeah, so when you water, the water just goes through and it doesn't compact. It doesn't compact and especially when it's dry, it also doesn't compact. It's very fluffy, it's very arid. arid. So it'll, it'll, it'll allow the roots, it'll give the roots some, um, promote healthy root growth to these plants. So that way it doesn't, you know, do the same thing that it did before. Uh, what's that word? Uh, choking the roots. Uh, I, I don't know English, you guys. English is sometimes hard for me. Sometimes it's in my brain and it's like, yeah, yeah, it sounds really good in my brain. And then when it comes out, it's like, no, that didn't sound too good. Right, so all we do is we're just gonna plot them in and then we won't water them for like a few weeks. Right, just give them time. Even though they are a little bit wet, that's fine. These are very resilient plants. Um, resilient as in like, you can pretty much rot the whole entire plant and like have a few leaves and it still grows back. Right, so we're gonna do that. And besides, they're, they're like a dime a dozen, so it's not something that you should worry about. Um, yeah. Especially if you kill them. You shouldn't worry about these ones if you kill them. Just go to the store and buy new ones. I think they're cheap. Like they're like like two to three dollars for like a, a little a little planter. Right? I guess I guess you can say like these are like practice runs. Practice run plants. They're you can propagate them really easily. Like you just take a leaf like this and just propagate it. Right? And I think that's all there is to this. Hope she'll be happy. Um, Cause she, like I said, she really loves these. But unfortunately, the uh, soil mixture, soil medium she had in, in before was choking the, uh, choking the roots, choking the plants, wouldn't allow the roots to grow, you know? So hopefully within a few weeks, um, I'll give you an update on the fit, uh, sorry, the YouTube stories, and then you'll see. Tap that a little bit, and voila, we're all done with this part of it. So we're gonna put it aside. Oh, I feel like I'm on a cooking show. <clears throat> I feel like I'm really on a cooking show. Okay, and then we're gonna put this down here. Okay, and then we're gonna work on our sense of area right here. So um, uh, I've actually already took this apart, but then I was like, you know, let me just put it back together <laughs> and then show you guys. Okay, so these Sensivarius Missiona, like I said, they came in I think May's pre-orders, but unfortunately the, the rhizome uh, rotted away or started rotting, so I couldn't sell them, right? So these Missiona 
uh, will grow back to Messiana. So uh, Sensivirus are um, chimera plants. So they require the rhizome to actually grow the specific variegated hybrid type of plant. But because these are the original plants, you can take the leaf and just propagate them. Okay, so we're gonna take them here, pop them out. Okay. And these took about six months, six months to get anything. So this one, unfortunately, doesn't have any babies. Uh, this one has one, two babies here. This one has one, two, three babies. Three babas. <laughs> this one has four babas. One, two, three, four. Then this one has no babas. This one has two bebes. This one has one big bebe. Okay, uh, so we're gonna put them also into the cocoa car mix. We're putting them into these nice little planters so you can find on the Amazon. I, the majority of the time I buy things on Amazon because um, a lot of the time our local store is also a corporate store anyway, so I can't even support them. Um, and I don't, I don't really have any like small local business store plant wise in my area, which sucks. Um, and they usually don't have the planters I want. I, I like specific things. So anyways, nice. we're gonna put them in the cocoa choir mix and then I can, I can actually water them right away because they've already been acclimated. They've already been, you know, living in the cocoa choir mix just because some of the roots has broken off doesn't mean it's the end of the world. So we're gonna do this for about, I think seven more of them, yeah. So yeah, so this is gonna grow into this and then we're gonna sell them in the springtime. Um, I was going to sell them off like as little plants, I'm like, but then I just I actually totally forgot about them until I guess recently. I was like, oh yeah, I still have these. Okay, well let's, uh, let's break them up. Let's see how it's been. Yeah, so if you're ever wondering like, Oh, I had a, I have a variegated um, sense of varia. I'm gonna break off the leaf and propagate it. It's it's not gonna work. That's not how it's gonna work. You're gonna get the original leaf plant back, not the variegated one. Oh, I miss these. That's okay. Okay, so just to let you know before you go on to your adventure, being so optimistic and then getting disappointed in the end. We don't want to be disappointed. Always want to be prepared, but not disappointed, right? So don't do that with sense of areas. Certain hybrids you can, like um, I believe the Kirky Browns you can, and then the Cleopatra you can. I can't. You can as well. I believe those type of hybrids you can. Put this aside, and then this as well. I love doing this. You know, sometimes I get really sad, or I, I get like not as happy and then i just have to like i gotta do some planting work yo i gotta do some plants it makes me feel good like i i don't know like it's it's something about like touching the dirt and just being active with the dirt it feels right okay let's do that okay we're almost done. Okay. So I love the cocoa card mix. Um, when you water it, it just runs through right away. Like it's, it saturates the whole entire thing right away. So you don't need to like leave it in the, keep watering it. Sorry, sorry you don't need to keep watering it to saturate everything. Let me miss it a little bit much. Okay, just that way. There we go. And then we have one more left. Okay. This might look not look good because it's a little yellowy inside. It's still okay. Um, hopefully it'll give some bebes um, by the time spring comes. And we should be good. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all the planting that we need to do. So there you go. So you got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cents of areas planted into their own pots. And then my mom's 
all these stuff. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to press like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Love ya. Bye.